Hi, I'm Kevin Tame, and welcome to The Hacktivist. Today I'm playing the Stinson CI list that Jonah shared with me, and this match I'm playing against an uh, Au Revoir Wu deck, and basically what they do is they use Wu's ability to bring out SMC um, and quickly set up uh, Au Revoir so that they basically can make jack out and get three credits each time they jack out. Um, it's really powerful, and they can make a lot of money pretty quickly. So let's jump right into this match. So when I first see here, I see economic warfare and I see um, bottle level clearance. It's not the best starting hand, but I'm just gonna click up because I wanna start firing off this IPO and this bottle level clearance. I don't know what type of woo deck this is. So, you know, you kind of have to wait to see what they do. Um, so my opponent uses stim hack to you know quickly get out the the um, the au revoirs. and so now I realize what I need to do is I need to start shutting down my opponent so that they can't jack out. And the I think the best strategy here is to um, allow your opponent to allow your opponent to um, uh, or don't allow them to have servers that are open. So what you do is you put stuff over each server because, and you want them to be ice. That is a real pain for them. So like Fairchild and architect or Enigma, something that's punishing. So now my opponent can't uh, use the snitch ability. And so now I'm just waiting here to, um, you know, find some other ice that I can set up because I don't want my opponent to, uh, <clears throat> to be able to, I don't want to install Jeeves blindly so they can be able to, you know, gain a ton of money. This is a really bad face check for my opponent um, because it's most likely that my opponent is running nanotech and so to pull that out with SMC and then install that six and and it's only a single ice, my opponent doesn't really have the money to break. So I actually think this was a misplay on my opponent's part. My opponent probably should have just let the subroutines fire and dealt with it. Um, but you know, it is what it is. This puts my opponent into a bad position. My opponent doesn't actually know what type of CI I'm on at this point. And so this gives me the opportunity to fire off Stinson next turn. So I go ahead and I fire the ultraviolet. Um, I install reversed accounts into the server because I want to set it up because I want to continue to you know keep my opponent poor. Here my opponent's able to click through Fairchild and jack out. Um, that's a really annoying piece of ice for my opponent. I'm not, it's not really a great time to do this reversed account. So I go ahead and I start setting up the Jeeves to be able to help me score. Um, since my opponent didn't have a successful run, I can't use economic warfare because my opponent's jacking out. Otherwise, it would have been a good time for economic warfare. So my, yeah, my strategy here is to, you know, I've, I've taxed them out and just seeing that early, getting that early Stinson really kind of puts them way behind. Now, um, since I have a G's down, I can just install and advance the elective upgrades and my opponent has to deal with two ice um, and they don't have the the barrier breaker to to deal with this now my opponent's at zero credits and it's pretty much gone really far downhill for my opponent um, they've had you know a few bad calls I think but then also um, just you know I got set up pretty pretty good and so my opponent ends up deciding 
that they're just going to concede because now that I have the elective upgrades, it's pretty much two turns and I win the game. Uh, so that's understandable. It, it, it'd be hard. I think it'd be hard for them to recover at this point. So a quick match. Uh, it's great when you see um, stints and fire like that and get off really quickly. Uh, you have to be careful of these Au Revoir decks. Um, you don't want to give them any open servers because then what they'll do is they will take four clicks and go boom, boom, boom. And a lot of times the Shapers also have best, so they're getting five clicks. So they can get 15 credits in a turn, and that's just incredible. So ice up all your servers and put a piece of ice that is really punishing to force them to like check it. Sometimes it's hard to do because you don't have the money, and I got lucky because um, it when you know you have to res these big ice like Fairchild and stuff, it can get really expensive. Um, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching that match. Um, this Stinson uh, deck is still pretty good. I made some adjustments to what Jonas had. He likes playing with the shipment, and I still think it's really good. But what I ended up doing is I dropped, and you'll see in some of these matches, I dropped shipment from Tenon, and I went to two economic warfare, and I dropped an IP block as well. I don't know if that's the best decision, but sometimes it my opponents are just right on the border where if I can just hit them with a single um, uh, economic warfare, I'm able to Stinson, which can really change the game. Uh, on the other hand, though, is Shipman from Tenon has some incredible synergies um, and allow you to do a lot of crazy shenanigans. Um, so it also has a lot of benefits, but the three influence is a little steep, I sometimes think. Anyways, uh, comment below if you have any questions. Um, I'm going to be posting more uh, videos of Stinson CI. So yeah, thanks. Have a great day.